So this is part two. In part one, we did the creep show maze. We did the killer clowns from our outer space maze. And we had a lot of fun. On this one, you're gonna see us and a few others. So stay tuned. <laughs>
you were hanging back, you were hanging back, and I was way, way ahead, and I was alone. And I was like, oh, you have to lose. And I freaked out, and I was like, oh, oh my god. god. Uh, out. No. She, she went way ahead. <laughs> you went back. That's it. Welcome to Heather's world. Oh my god, are we excited? What are we getting ready to do? I don't know. <laughs> no, the House of a Thousand Corpses. We're doing the House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh, you lost my light. There we go. I'm in the lighting again. We're excited, right? Super excited. Yay. Heather's like somewhere in the background. That's her excited face. Stay tuned. Come on, guys.
fighting for it. Thank you guys so very much for joining us for the Halloween Horror Nights review at Universal Studios in Hollywood. I love this event. Seriously, it is the only horror event that I know of that changes out all of their mazes every single year. Obviously, they have a benefit to doing so because they do mazes corresponding to the films that they're releasing. However, that still makes for one hell of a really great time for all the horror fans because you get to go to the mazes based on the films that you know and love, which is really great. To me, some of the standouts were the Ghostbusters, super, super fun. Us, so creepy. So creepy. And Stranger Things, which... Who doesn't love Stranger Things? Although I did find the Stranger Things maze a little bit repetitive of itself. It was still really, really, really fun. So I highly recommend that you check it out if you're in the Hollywood area. If you're not, just come on down and check it out for this whole reason that you want to because it's super fun. Um, I think it's something that's really original. Like I said, it's the only haunt experience that I can think of that does completely new mazes every capacity every single year. Typically most Halloween horror attractions will repurpose, reuse, reutilize previous year's 
accessories, their mazes, their different details. So like usually go and you're like, oh, this is very similar to last year. Universal Studios doesn't do that. They're an actual film studio. They want it to feel representative of the project of the film that you're going to. And I think that's what's what really makes it unique. So I highly recommend. I think it's really worth your money. And also don't forget to pick up your own pair of horns because these are only $7 or two for 10, which is a freaking bargain for the record. Anyways, if you like this video, if you like me, don't forget to like button down below and I'll subscribe. I produce new videos every single day well, every single week over here on this channel. And 10 billion bonus points if you join the Patreon.